Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. This is Amy Rich with amyrich.net. I know, I know it is late February and I am just getting out my paper pumpkin kit, the kisses and hugs kit, which you can see why. Uh, but I have to tell you that these kits came late and then when they finally came i was knee deep in some other things so <laughs> thank you for your weight on my alternate project i think you're going to be interested to see what i'm going to make today with this beautiful kit with all of these fun little pieces although i'm not using many of them <laughs> so here's what i will be using from the kit i've got my envelope um just one of them <laughs> and then i've got one of the really cool cards here with the blushing bride color and the stamp set and the ink and then i'm using some other supplies outside of the kit as well so i'm excited to share with you i'm going to start with a piece of thick very vanilla cardstock that measures six and seven eighth inch square and i am going to score this at one and a quarter inches just a, a teeny little tip for you. I am going to score just inside the one and a quarter inch line. Um, so you should still be able to see that one and a quarter inch. And then um, you can see it on those two spots. And then I'm gonna take my scoring blade and score that. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. So I do like my Simply Scored. But for something like this, actually, it would be hard to um, do this concept with a Simply Scored. And I'm going to show you um, with my other piece of thick, very vanilla cardstock. So I've got my scored lines and I'm going to grab my other one and do the same, except this time I am going to cover my one and a quarter inch. So it's a little bit, and I want to keep these separate, by the way. I don't really want to mix these two up. So the one that covers, um, the one that covers the one and a quarter inch mark, we're going to set aside and work on that part later. So all the way around, all four edges, get a one and it one and a quarter inch plus score line all right Just, uh plus by a smidgy smidgen smidgen all right so there are the score lines and then let's grab the first one we had where we could see the score lines or the one and a quarter inch line and then we're going to use our snips to just cut in uh, from the edge to the score line. And I'm gonna do that in each corner. So I need good light here so I can see those score marks or I can go ahead and fold them and then they're easier to see. But my old eyes, I'm telling you, um, I'm approaching 50, not there yet but uh, those eyes, it's hard on your eyes to not have enough light. So the light is, is my friend. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder and just get all of these folds nicely creased and I'm going to create a little box. So I decided with this kit, I was not going to make a card, but instead a fun little box. And I don't know, maybe you won't think it's fun. Who knows? In, in the comments below, I would love to hear your thoughts, whether you like it or not. Although if you like it, that would be better. <laughs> but we're going to then put adhesive and you can use Seal Plus. Um, I have just stamp and seal here, regular stamp and seal. If I was gonna put something heavy in it, I might be a little more careful about what adhesive I use. But for now, this is just, this is just for show. So we'll tuck those corners in then to create our box bottom. Then we're gonna need to bring that trimmer back in. And our card, our blushing bride card. And we're going to stick the card in with the, with the double hump at two and a half inches. So we're gonna 
put these double humps at two and a half inches. And then we're gonna score. Oops, I need my scoring blade. It popped out on my way down, so. All right, and then you can see it's a little, maybe you can't see, it's a little short. So I just got I have to move it up just a little bit to finish the bottom of it. And we'll do that again. Oh, I better, I better fold that in. All right, so I'm just gonna finish that score line on that last one. Then, grabbing another one, we just want the center one here. Um, so I'm going to just use my snips to cut at the hinge on each side. This is the one we're gonna use. And actually, I've got a little gold there yet, so I didn't cut that very straight. You could use the trigger for that if you wanted to. But then I'm gonna put this in again at two and a half inches, and then give it a score. Okay, then we'll start with the score lines here at the bottom, and we're gonna fold those back. This will help create the bottom of our box. So then what I'm going to do is add some liquid glue. And what we wanna make sure is that we don't put adhesive really much higher than the box. So that worked out just fine. Oh, and then we're also gonna put adhesive down on the bottom sections too. We'll get all ready. To get our box put together. Okay, so then we'll, we're just gonna slip these parts into place on our box. And we'll work our way all the way around. Oh my goodness, so cute. And then I'm just gonna lay it on its bottom so that we've got a great place to push our adhesive onto our paper. I know they're super cute. So, you know, it is late for this. Bookmark it for next year so that you can come back and make them, make the Valentine's boxes next year or um, go ahead and give them out. It's so, I mean, you can still tell people you love them when it's, um, when it's not Valentine's Day. So then we're going to put adhesive here on that fourth heart to finish the fourth side of our box. So super cute. You can add like here, I see, you know, I didn't get adhesive all the way to that top section. You can go ahead back then and fill in those, in those gaps with your adhesive. That works just fine. And then um, you see the bottom. Although it's super cute, I cut a piece of four and three eighths inch square blushing bride, and we're just gonna layer that over the top. So four and three eighths is the size of our box bottom. So we're just gonna add this onto the bottom to make it a little more finished. And then, we are gonna work on the box cover. And the box cover is that other piece. And the reason we scored it just a little bit further is that we want it to fit down inside the box. So we, um, if you score it a little bit further, it makes the, the top here a little bit smaller. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the bottom of the box. We're gonna trim into the scored line on every side. And I just keep turning it like a pinwheel to cut my sides. And uh, before we do any more, I'm gonna fold, well, we're gonna fold on the score lines first, but we're not gonna adhere it together quite yet because I do have one more step I wanna, I wanna take first. All right, so. We've got all of our spots. So now we can kind of see or feel like I can kind of see where the middle of my box is. Then we're gonna take a circle of the gold foil 
cut with the um, layering circles dies from the annual catalog. Just adhere that. And then taking our take your pick tool, the piercing end, again, we're gonna find the middle and then pierce a hole through the top and go ahead and make that hole kind of a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna cheat a little bit. We've got a ribbon that I believe is, I know it's a carryover from the July to December mini catalog, but I don't think it's available until the next July to December mini catalog comes out. But I cut a piece of that that we're going to actually, I should slow down here, um, fold that in half, take the loose ends, make a loop, and then a knot. So put those ends through that loop and pull tight so that you've got that nice knot. And you're gonna probably wanna go ahead and trim down the ends a little bit so they're not too long. And then I take this part of the ribbon and I fold the corner over and that makes a little bit of a, oops, out of camera. That makes a little bit more of a point and we're gonna fit that in, hopefully. Let's get these edges out of the way here. We're gonna fit that in through the hole and then we can pull that through. This will be our pull tab to get our box top off. Okay, so now we'll go back and do the same thing to these corners by adding adhesive, tucking them under and adhering them to the side next to it. All right, so then our box top is complete. And just um, be aware that when you put the box, if, if you fill the box, put the box top on, then you need to just tuck the corners in and just work your way around, just pulling, pulling those corners, pulling those sides together so that it tucks in. And you'll do that to all four of the sides. You'll do that to all four, there we go. And then of course um, you would pull that to take it off, which I won't do again because <laughs> it's a little cumbersome. Then bringing that envelope in, you can see what I did for my sample that I made for myself. I just put my Label Me Lovely Punch into the envelope. Kind of make sure it's a little bit straight on my letters and then punch out that piece. That will adhere on one of the, oop, not yet. Hold on, aim. Let's get adhesive across and then fold this beautiful shimmer ribbon in half. This is gray granite ribbon and it matches the paper pumpkin kit. This can be found in the annual catalog also. So just tape it to the back a little bit longer on one side because then what we're gonna do is bring it around to the other side and then with a piece of our vanilla twine, and it comes in a pack with, I think, four other colors in the annual catalog also. A lot of annual catalog product today. And then I'm just gonna tie that into a bow so that it keeps our ribbon in place and acts as a little decorative touch on our little label here. And then I'm gonna pull that close to my Label Me Lovely punch. And I'm just gonna trim off one end a little bit and then adhere this to our box. So we're gonna do it to the side of our box that is plain. We're just gonna adhere it right like that. And then I took a piece of vanilla cardstock that measures approximately one inch by two inches. And now it's time for the stamp set. So we're gonna bring in the heart and the for you. And the heart I'm gonna stamp in my Blushing Bride ink pad, right in the middle of my, my piece of vanilla. And I have them mounted on the same block, hoping I could see through well enough. Fine. 
And then we'll bring in our gray granite mini ink pad, our Stampin' Spot. And we'll make the For You. And stamp that across like that. Oh, how cute. And then we'll take some dimensionals and just pop that up off of our label. I'm so excited about this box. It gave me an opportunity to make something a little bit different this time. And notice that the one by two inches fits perfectly across that label. And then we'll trim these ends down and we are done. Who wouldn't want to get a cute little box like this that the top can just pull off and I'm not going to put it back on on camera. <laughs> But thank you for watching today, and I hope uh, this sparks some ideas for you and that um, you get creative. Take care, everybody, and I will see you next time with another great project.